Hello. Well, today I'm here to talk about a film I've uh, uh, rewatched and I uh, enjoy quite a bit. Uh, saw it in theaters when it came out, and um, it's one I haven't talked about before, or if I have, it's been so long ago I can't recall off the top of my head. Um, but I, I really love this film. Um, I think it's a it's just a it's a film with an incredible performances uh, in particular. Um, and that film is Black Mass. Um, it's about Whitey Bulger and his uh, involvement with uh, the FBI and giving them information and um, how anytime like cases seem to be going on to get him on something he uh, would uh, those cases would be like just disappear be gone because you know he's an informant he was given information even if at the end of it all it is some of the information he gave wasn't really good um, like little was uh, of actual use um, and you use this as a way for business, like, you know, this is how I'm going to conduct business. It's going to be good for me and business, and it's just, you know, going to be, just work out real well for everybody. Um, and, and it's a really fantastic um Johnny Depp is incredible, and I can just talk about him throughout the whole uh, video. Um, but uh, everybody else is great too. Uh, Joel Edgerton is uh, John Connolly, the FBI agent he's in contact with. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch as the uh, as Billy uh, <clears throat> uh, Billy Bulger, and just everybody you know. Uh, Kevin Bacon just he. Clemens, Peter Skarsgård, Dakota Johnson, Corey Stoll, and everybody who isn't even listed here, or, you know, it, everybody brings their A-game. Um, it's directed by uh, Scott Cooper, who also made uh, Hostiles, which I talked about in Out of the Furnace, which I don't know if I talked about. He made Crazy Heart with Jeff Bridges, I don't know if... I, I've never seen that, so I don't know if that film is good or not. Um, but I love this film. Uh, I also enjoy uh, Out of the Furnace and Hostiles. I've talked about Hostiles, as I just mentioned. That was a really good film. Um, yeah, every, everybody just brings their A-game. You know, Whitey Bulger is a very fascinating guy. Um, these these guys who are like in the mob of the, the Irish mob or Italian mob. These guys are really just they're just fascinating to read about, and there's documentaries to watch. Those are often fascinating too. Some films are also uh, uh, quite good. Um, some not so much either because they get things wrong. Um, and also, in some cases, not very entertaining or engaging. Um, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, with these kind of mob films, you expect certain things, like, you know, uh, some violence, and there is violence. Strong language, because from Boston. Uh, and yeah, they had it goes like with racketeering, and how... James Bulger, Whitey Bulger, was able to get away with uh, the, many of the things he got away with for so long. And it's just really, really, a, it's a fantastic film, I think. Um, again, I saw it when it came out in theaters. It was really cool. Uh, you know, I've mentioned awards here and there throughout this channel, this, this series in particular, and 
I really believe uh, Johnny Depp should have gotten an Academy Award for this film, uh, or at the very least a nomination. It's a real shame he didn't. He got nominated for like a SAG Award, I believe. I think that was like the biggest award he got nominated for. And some other awards he got, like an award or two. Uh, one award he got actually for the past so many years before and even some after him winning it. Uh, he got not, he, those people went on to get at least get nominated for an Academy Award and in most cases won. Um, afterwards, uh, Casey Affleck won and Gary Oldman won the following year. Uh, previous year. You know, um, Eddie Redmayne, I believe, won. Uh, and Matthew McConaughey did, and they all won Oscars. Before McConaughey, uh, Bradley Cooper got nominated for an Oscar, and he won that award. I forget what it is, like a Santa Monica Film Festival Award, some Best Actor Award. Um, and it's not just me who was surprised he didn't get nominated. A lot of people did. People who saw the film and they're just like, "Wow, you know, he, like his performance." You know, a lot of people talk about Johnny Depp and how, for a while, it seemed like he just was busy doing either Jack Sparrow or just wacky, kooky characters and didn't really do serious stuff anymore. Um, this is an example of him being serious, being the Johnny Depp that so many people recall from the 80s and 90s, you know, before Pirates of the Caribbean when he headlined big blockbuster films. Um, this is an incredible film all the way through. He gives a performance, uh, the best performance of his career, um, at least at this point. Um, there is a film he made, Metamata, Metamata, uh, I might be mispronouncing that. I've heard about it here and there, and I've heard that that film, for whatever reason, has been um, on hold of getting it a, a release here in America. Um, maybe the entire North American continent entirely, but... You know, people say for that film he gave an incredible performance. Um, so perhaps that could be the best performance of his career. Um, but it, I don't know. Uh, I can't say for sure uh, regarding that. But uh, from all the films I've seen of him uh, throughout my life, I think this is his best performance. He truly embodied Whitey Bulger. He was really... Like, if you've read stuff about Whitey Bulger... Uh, you know, uh, watch some documentaries about the guy. He, from what people say and what you can read about him, Johnny Depp really captured the essence of the man. And he's quite terrifying whenever he's on, string, he's on screen. He's very unpredictable. You know, just when you think he'll do one thing, he does the opposite. Sometimes when you think he's going to do one thing, he does it. So it's a very uh, incredible performance. Um, again, everybody else in the film is incredible. But Depp really... Without Depp, I don't know if this film would have been as incredible as it is. Um, it's based off of a book, which uh, I have... Whitey Bulger, the FBI, and the Devil's Dude, Black Mass. Um, it's been a while since I've read this, but uh, obviously this goes into more detail. The film is like two hours. This film is over, including notes, 400 pages, if you also include the index. But yeah, it is, it's very... It's just, this is a great book, um, and the film is excellent also. Um, goes in a bit more detail at, at various points than the film shows. For obvious reasons, you know, they, uh, it's 
Um, this book goes into more, a bit more in depth of the various uh, stuff you see in the film. Um, which, of course, you know, for film being adapted from a book, that's obviously to be expected. But um, it does cover a decent amount of things that is very digestible. Also, you get to see like how uh, Whitey Bulger is very loving and kind and to his mother and his son son passes away unfortunately um, and uh, he's six years old and that had a huge effect on him and his mother passes away later and uh, of course all these things are going on and he has to flee because everything's closing in and he's, you know, likely to, uh, be arrested and he's not interested in that. And, uh, of course, by the end of it all, he does get arrested in 2011, uh, you know, from 95 to 2011, he was on the run. <clears throat> People reported him all around the world. Nobody really knew where he, he was. People who looked like him or had a similar resemblance uh, you know, to him to some degree were often said as being like, that's him, regardless if it was actually him or not. You know, it could have been people who had a similar look. Um, but yeah, you know... Uh, Whitey Bulger was a, a very fascinating and very powerful man uh, in the world he was in. Quite dangerous. Um, and he actually declined to meet with Johnny Depp before uh, doing this film. Like, Johnny Depp said he wanted to meet with him, but he said no. Like, he didn't want to meet with him because, I guess, he just wasn't interested in... Like, uh, I guess a film being made about him. So he declined. Um, the Departed was inspired in uh, uh, various aspects um, by Bolger, particularly um, uh, Frank Costello. He was essentially molded by Bulger that was uh, the inspiration there and uh, Jack Nicholson in that film did a great job so people um, I remember with that film people were like you know Nicholson deserved an Academy Award nomination and you know, some were confused by Mark Wahlberg being nominated in that film. Though he was excellent. Um, I guess you could argue for both, but... Uh, you know, I guess if you have two people nominated for a similar film, or for the same film, unless one has obviously gave us superior performance that is going to win, you could cancel each other out, so... Best to just leave have one <clears throat> supporting actor and... Um, I believe, you know, uh, Johnny Depp uh, deserved a Best Actor nomination. I know DiCaprio won, um, but I believe that's because, you know, he hadn't won prior. He didn't win for Gilbert Grape or any of the previous times he was nominated. Um, I guess argue uh, there should have been a film or two here and there. He should have been <clears throat> up for maybe win. But he won for The Revenant, and he didn't do a bad job in The Revenant. Um, but I don't believe he was better than uh, Johnny Depp, in my opinion. Um, gave a career best, in my opinion. Depp was phenomenal, as was everyone else. The direction and writing, it's just... I really love this film. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a film that... Um, I don't know if, if time goes on, people appreciate it more. 
I don't know if that's the case, but uh, one thing's for sure that is often said is Depp was incredible, and I really believed he was Bulger. I'm like, I, I did not see Johnny Depp. No, that's just me. That's also some things I've also read and heard about people saying online. Um, so there is at least a consensus somewhere, regardless of how big or small that is, that he gave an incredible performance. He was uh, fantastic. Um, a nomination at the very least, I believe, uh, Johnny Depp was at least uh, he should have gotten. Though he did make some comments that uh, he didn't want to win an Academy Award if he was even nominated. So perhaps that ruffled some feathers within the Academy. Like those, like the acting branch votes for the four categories. So there perhaps some heard uh, him saying that. It was like, you know, just rub them the wrong way. So they just didn't even acknowledge uh, him that year, which um, I think is sad. I mean, you know, the Academy uh, uh, acknowledged George C. Scott after what his second nomination to the his last said he did not ever he he refused to be even nominated, and they ignored him. And for Patton, you know, he said that again, and they ignored him of not wanting to be nominated. And then he won the Academy Award, and he didn't accept it. He didn't want it. So for Johnny Depp to say, you know, if he's nominated, he didn't want an Academy Award. I don't know. Maybe it's just the modern days look at that and how that just, I guess, perhaps is just ungrateful uh, to some. Like, uh, but, I don't know. It could be that he just thinks, like, he regardless of how good his performance is in his eyes you know it could be like he doesn't see himself in competition with people which is something that often is talked about and um yeah I thought you know uh, regardless of all that uh, sometimes people do deserve to be acknowledged for certain awards I believe he deserved a nomination at least, if not the Oscar. Um, it was a performance like no other, and uh, yeah. I just, uh, I just love this film. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to, else to say, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, I will say, though, like, you know, in the last video, uh, I mentioned how, uh, you know, do sort of like a unveiling of various stuff I've gotten over the summer. Well, there is one that, uh, as of the recording, it's still August, even though it's September when you see this, I have not gotten uh, this other uh, film that I've uh, ordered. It's unfortunately going to take a little longer, so... I will try to uh, do uh, more of these uh, kind of stuff of talking about individual movies, and then once I get that, I will then uh, do my whole video of uh, like saying what I've got. And um, yeah, I look forward to doing that um, sometime later. Uh, Hopefully sooner rather than later, um, and yeah, I'm uh, also in September. I'm gonna uh, be going to Florida on a vacation with my family. You know, sister's birthday is in September, so that's sort of why we're all going, and. Uh, I will be seeing Citizen Kane down there. There's a theater that will have like a Fathom event and will have Citizen Kane, so I will uh, most definitely record a video down there um, afterwards, seeing it on the big screen. 
Um, I've already made a video about it, but, you know, uh, again, I saw it. Uh, I'll be seeing it for the, on the big screen for the first time in, in September, and uh, I can't wait. It should be awesome. Um, so anyway, with that, um, just wanted to give you a little heads up of what to sort of expect. And uh, I hope you're all having a great day, having a great weekend. Hope you have a great week. I'll see you all next time.